The most honorable Archimandrite Alexis, beloved of God, elected and conferred, is now brought forth to be ordained as the Bishop of the City of Bethesda, which enjoys the protection of Almighty God. Why have you come? What do you ask of our humility? The laying on of hands to the grace of the office and dignity of Bishop, most venerable hierarchs. How do you believe? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things, visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The grace of God the Father and of our Lord Jesus Christ and of the Holy Spirit be with you. The most honorable Archimandrite of Lexus, beloved of God, elected and confirmed, is now brought forth to be ordained as the Bishop of the city of Bethesda, which enjoys the protection of Almighty God. Reveal to us in greater detail how you believe concerning the properties of the three persons of the incomprehensible Godhead and concerning the incarnation of the person of the Son and Word of God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, who is without beginning, unbegotten, and without cause, but is himself the natural beginning and cause of the Son and of the Spirit. I believe in his only begotten Son, without change and without time, begotten of the Father, being of one essence with him, by whom all things were made. I believe in the Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the same Father, who with him is glorified as co-eternal and co-enthroned, being of one essence with him, of equal glory, and the author of creation. I believe that the only begotten Word, one of the same supersubstantial and life-giving Trinity, came down from heaven for us men and for our salvation. He was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. That is, he became perfect man, yet remained God. In no manner was his divine essence changed by his participation in the flesh, nor was he transmuted into anything else. He assumed man's nature without change, in which he suffered and died, although in his divine nature he was free from all suffering. On the third day, he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father. Furthermore, I confess the one person, the Word made flesh. I believe and I proclaim that Christ is one and the same in two natures after his incarnation, preserving those things which were in them and from them. Therefore, I also adore two wills in action, 
I believe those traditions and teachings of the one Catholic, Apostolic, and Apostolic Church, which have been received from God and from men of God, I reverence relatively, but not in a way of divine worship, icons as divine and worthy of reverence of Christ himself and of the all-pure Mother of God and of all the saints. The honor that I address to them, I ad direct to their originals. I reject and deny those who think and teach otherwise as persons ill-advised. I confess truly and sincerely our Sovereign Lady Mary, the Theotokos, as having given birth in the flesh to one of the Trinity, Christ our God. May the same Mother of God be my helper, protector, and defender all the days of my life. Amen. The grace of the Holy Spirit be with you, enlightening you, strengthening you, and endowing you with wisdom all the days of your life. The most honorable archimandrite Alexis, beloved of God, elected and confirmed, is now brought forth to be ordained as the bishop of the city of Bethesda, which enjoys the protection of Almighty God. Declare to us also what you believe concerning the canons of the Holy Apostles and the Holy Fathers and the traditions and rules of the Church. In this, my confession of the Holy Faith, I promise to observe the canons of the Holy Apostles and of the seven ecumenical councils, and of the pious provincial councils, the traditions of the Church, and the decrees, orders, and rules of the Holy Fathers. All things which they have accepted, I accept. All things which they have rejected, I reject. I preserve, promise to preserve the peace of the Church, and firmly to hold and to teach with zeal the people entrusted to me, I promise to devise nothing whatsoever which is contrary to the Orthodox Catholic Christian faith all the days of my life. I promise that in all things I will always follow and obey the Holy Synod of Bishops and in all things be of one mind with his beatitude, the most blessed metropolitan, the archbishops and bishops, my brothers, and that together with them I will be submissive to the divine law and the sacred canons of the holy apostles and holy fathers. I promise with all sincerity to cherish towards them spiritual affection and to regard them as my brothers in Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior. I promise to rule the flock committed to me in the fear of God and in the boundness of life. I promise to do this with all diligence and to care for and guard the flock from all heretical doctrines and teachings. In this, my written profession of faith, I also confess that I have come to this ministry neither by the promise of nor by the gift of money, whether gold or silver. On the contrary, I have received it freely by election and full consent of the Holy Synod. I promise also to do nothing through constraint, whether coerced by persons with power or by a multitude of people, even though they should command me under the threat of death to do something contrary to the divine and holy laws. I promise not to celebrate divine liturgy in a diocese other than my own, nor to exercise any other priestly function without the permission of the bishop of that diocese. I will neither ordain to the priesthood, nor to the diaconate, nor to any other ecclesiastical rank in the diocese of another, nor will I receive such into my diocese without letters of dismissal <coughs> from their own bishops. I will deal with the opponents of the Holy Church reasonably, uprightly, and gently, as taught by the Apostle Paul. For the servant of the Lord must not be quarrelsome, but kindly to everyone an apt teacher, forbearing, correcting his opponents with gentleness. God may, God may perhaps grant that they will repent and come to know the truth. I promise to visit and watch over the flock which is now entrusted to me after the manner of the apostles, so that they remain true to the faith 
and true in the performance of good works. I will show special concern for the priests. I promise to inspect with diligence, to exhort, and to restrain in order that schisms, superstitions, and unholy venerations may not arise and customs contrary to Christian teachings of piety and good morals may not injure the Christian way of life. All those things which I have this day promised in word, I also promise to perform in deed to my last breath for the sake of the promised good, good things to come. May God, who knoweth the heart, be the witness of my vow. May our Savior, Jesus Christ, be my helper in my sincere and zealous rule, in my performance of it. To Him, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, be glory, power, honor, and worship, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The grace of the Holy Spirit, through my humility, elevates you, most beloved of God, our commander and Alexis, to be bishop-elect of the God saved city of the dead. His beatitude, the most blessed Tikon, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all American Canada, His Eminence, Metropolitan Alexis, His Eminence, Archbishop Melchizedek, His Eminence, Archbishop Michael, His Eminence, Archbishop David, His Grace, Bishop <coughs> Paul, and His Grace, Bishop Daniel, and the Bishop elect of Bethesda, Archimandrite Alexis, grant, O Lord, a prosperous and peaceful life health, salvation, and furtherance in all blessed things, and preserve them, O Lord, for many years. 